Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be going through things that you guys have sent me, starting with these letters from glorious Cincinnati, Ohio. Anyway, I got these in the mail a few days ago. They were in an envelope, but uh, I took them out, and I have to say, quite a bit of uh, nice stuff. Three pieces of different art. I'll start with uh, this one. Got uh, SMT Mainline. And it says on the bottom, it's Canadian National, the H-O-N and O-Scale YouTuber. So that's pretty cool. We got this other one, which is of a uh, locomotive. And it says right here from BMD Zero, uh, drawn in Ohio, and uh, got a uh, CN SD40-2. And then the final one here, those are both uh, more realistic pieces. This one, I think, uh, has to win, like, the less realistic but more creative award. Very cool. And uh, it says here, uh, I drew this because my brother loves Bendy and the ink machine, and he just wanted to send a fan picture. It says, uh, 2SMT mainline from BMD Zero. Uh, VR can't read what's there, and it says, uh, Joey Drew. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate that. Thanks particularly to BMD Zero for actually sending that. Now, next up, this is something I'm really excited about, because I honestly have no idea what's in this box. Uh, a guy you may know by the name of, uh, David, he recently, uh, changed his name. Anyway, he sent me an email a couple days ago sending, saying he was sending uh, a package my way. So I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out. So we'll just very carefully open this up. This box weighs a ton, by the way. I, I, I can't say exactly, but I would guess about 15 pounds. So this should be interesting. Oh, that's right, I'm supposed to cut away. There we go, safety first, everyone. Uh, now we just uh, kind of... It's a dollar store knife, $3. That must be one of the best knives I've owned. Oh boy. And inside is <laughs> another box. There we go. Well, I guess we get two unboxings in one video. All right, now, I wonder what's in here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, well, I guess we'll try to go through all the rest of this first and then actually see what's in here. See, there's some very interesting stuff. And, uh, whoops, lost a piece there. All right, so, uh, seal box address. More importantly, we've got this nice, uh, letter right here. Greetings, Harrison. Hope things are well in Canada. A, eh? gotta like that. Uh, heading to Colorado for a month, so I wanted to get these in the mail before flying out. My knife Miriam is already set up at our home in Colorado, and I can't wait to be there permanently. Picked up these trains from your collect. Picked up these trains for your collection during visits to local train shops, flea markets, and estate sales, and antique shops. Most of them run somewhat but definitely in need of maintenance, which is where you come in. You may be able to get several videos for SMT Mainline, getting them up to speed. Enjoy, take care, David Margalas, SMT Mainline follower. Hope you hit 4K subscribers before the new year. What a letter. Thank you so much, David. I really do appreciate that. And we've got a uh, postcard from uh, Pennsylvania. Wow. This is so thorough. Look, there's a list of all the stuff that came in. Peco Silver Streak Locos, Valley Union Pacific Diesel Engine, Santa Fe Steamer, Midnight Special, HM Tempo, 
Tyco chassis system diesel Santa Fe passenger consist piece of resistance Hershey Plymouth industrial switcher so I already have one but picked one up for the mammoth project now you have two uh, also found a Hershey chocolate box car in my visits looking ahead to my NHO G collections forget about Z shot glass for your maple syrup <laughs> Uh, brush pen can be useful for getting the gunk out of wheels and motors. Wow. I don't know what to say, guys. This is something else. And we haven't even gotten into the stuff in the box, which is crazy. Oh, there's also a pamphlet from Steamtown. Alright, well, I think I actually have to set up my camera to take this stuff out of the box, because it's next level. Alright, so we've got the slightly better camera set up, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm kind of in shock right now. When David told me he was sending a parcel my way, I was kind of thinking of something more along the lines of like a piece of rolling stock. Not an entire lot like this, so uh, this is just incredible, and I'm really excited to start going through this stuff. So without further ado, let's begin. And I guess I'll start with this piece from Tyco. It's the first piece we can see at least. And uh, this is a Baby Ruth candy box car with a chug chug sound and uh, it's HO scale. It looks really cool. I've actually wanted one of these for quite a while so uh, yeah it just looks really cool and such classic packaging. It's just amazing. And, uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Actually I can kind of see now. <laughs> Check that out, a giant Hershey bar. Wow. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm not sure what's uh, in, uh, in here. Huh. I think this is vintage Tyco Manoa rolling stock passenger cars, maybe? Wow. No idea what's in this one, either. Maybe it's the same cars. Yeah, check that out. Crazy. So we appear to have basically, or get, get this in the camera frame, you sent an entire train, like a whole consist, so that's like really cool, it's so classic. Still kinda <laughs> shock here, I, 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 wow. Anyway, I guess we'll just put this stuff, uh, off to the side here. And we'll see what's in here. I think it's a steam locomotive. Wow. What a beauty. It's also classic stuff. Let's see what's in this bag here. Check that out, Hershey's box car. So uh, yeah, I guess we've got a Hershey bar and a Hershey box car to go with the Mammoth Project. I mean, that's pretty cool. Stratsburg Railroad. This is a shot glass, and I'm a Quebecer, so uh, these will always get put to good use. That's just a joke, guys. Anyway, um... <laughs> oh. Another Hershey shifter. That's awesome. So uh, just as he mentioned in the letter, now I've got two of these. So they'll be uh, roaming around the Hershey factory once it gets actually going. And uh, this Baltimore and Ohio caboose. Why don't we take whatever this is out? 
<laughs> brush picks. So in uh, some of my restoration videos, uh, Dave has actually commented on these brush picks, and uh, I haven't found any, so it looks like he just went ahead and sent me some, so uh, thanks for that. Definitely put those to good use. It's just incredible, guys. I I'm just kind of blown away. You know, uh, that sound kind of normal. It's just because I'm kind of just, whoa. This is it's a Tycho Manoa F unit. That's nice, so both an A and B unit. Very nice. This is... <laughs> wow, a Canadian shot glass and a Strasbourg shot glass. Well, that's awesome. Like, not only is this package, like, just fantastic, but it's so thoughtful. Sea liner, just speaking of Ohio. It's all such cool stuff. This is uh, I should have my knife over here. Probably make this a bit easier. This is what I think it is, yeah. Wow. Check that out. I can't remember the exact classification of this locomotive. I already have two Canadianas like it, and this is a chassis system version. It's so cool. The thing is, too, like, almost all this stuff is stuff I don't have, like, any of, so it's, it's all just really interesting. Midnight Special Sea Liner. I've really wanted one of these for a while. This one's a... Is it ever a beauty? It's in really good shape. Alright, I don't know what's in this. It looks like it could be a Union Pacific of some kind. Let's try to take that tape off here without actually uh, cutting into the loco there. Make this is. This might be a uh, what you might call it there, a Ravel. So somebody did something interesting with the coupler there. It's kind of interesting. And these last two are bundled together, and it is. a silver streak. Okay, I've been looking for one of these for such a long time now. Like, like I can't believe, so many of these engines which I've been looking for for so long now, and uh, just been sent right here. I can't believe this, guys. And the one beside it is, oh, no way. No way, two silver streaks. Well, this is absolutely wild. Alright, so I've now got everything laid out in such a way which I believe kind of makes sense, just so that you guys can get a better look at everything. One thing that makes this gift so special is not just the gift itself, which I think is fantastic, but it's just the amount of thought which went into this gift. I mean, this whole lot contains so many references to the channel. I think the first and most obvious one being all of these locomotives which happen to be in need of restoration. 
And, you know, restorations are just such a big part of the channel. It, it really is just meaningful that, you know, this whole lot is for restoration. And, you know, we've got an old classic train, and it's all the uh, uh, kind of older stuff on this channel. I mean, I know I buy some new stuff, but the majority of stuff is old classic things, just like all these old Tycho Manoa cars. And then we've got things like the Hershey set, which uh, obviously has the Hershey bar, the Hershey box car and that Hershey switcher locomotive, and that's all a reference to the Mammoth Project, which is rebuilding the former Hershey factory out in Smith Falls. And over here we've got things like this. This I just think is priceless, you know, it's a shot glass, and uh, I believe this is a reference to when, uh, earlier this year, everybody petitioned on Dodger Ben's channel uh, to get 100 likes so I would take a shot of maple syrup which I wound up doing on Canada Day of this year, which is sort of fitting. And then there are just odds and ends like this, this little thing, you know, for uh, doing restorations. And it's just such a meaningful lot. And I guess what I'm getting around to saying is, David, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much for sending all this stuff. It really is so meaningful, and uh, it was just incredibly generous for you to find this stuff and uh, ship it out to me. So thank you so much. I really... I uh, do appreciate it. With that being said, guys, I think this will mark the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.